live at Bird TV. <clears throat> so yesterday I caused a bit of a stir straight after Argentina had won and Messi put on the Wonder Show. And all I said was, I actually think that Liverpool might have unearthed a similar type of player in Ben Doak. And it's from what I've seen of him. And, it, you know, some people got it, some people didn't. Now nah, this video is for both sides. I've been watching Liverpool since 1993-94, I'd say, was the, the, la the last as far as I can remember. In that time, I have seen, you know, your Phil Thompsons, your Steven Gerrards, your Steve McManamans, yeah, you know, your Dominic Matteos, all the, all the young ones that were coming through uh, Liverpool. Uh, I've seen so many. These kids like Daniel Pacheco, uh, you know, there's ones lately. I mean, no one said anything when this Mikowski, or whatever his name is, a Polish lad we've got, Mowalski, or whatever his name is, was compared to Messi, calling the Polish Messi. Uh, so we've seen countless and countless and countless, countless of amounts of players that are the next this, the next that. You know, Neil Mellor's coming through, all the, all the ones. I mean, there's so many. Your mind goes blank when you're thinking about it. But what I'm saying to you is, is the reason why I said that Ben Doak reminds me of Messi. And that's based on the fact that if you actually watch the video that I put up yesterday, I've never seen a player like it. When I say I have never seen a player like Ben Doak, you're talking about a man that's been playing football manager since it was champ manager. We're talking of 20, 30 years worth of playing games and watching videos and watching football <coughs> across the world, across Europe. And when I say to you I have never seen a player like him, I mean it. And if you watch what he does, he's able to beat people even when facing his back to them. So... If you don't believe what I'm saying, go onto YouTube, look at the goal he scored against Rangers. The ball's going out for a throw-in, right? A throw-in. He's got his back to two Rangers players, right? Just like Messi had his back to... The, oh, just like Messi did yesterday on a few, three or four of these occasions. He manages to not only beat them facing the wrong way, but he rolls them. As he rolls them, he's almost falling over, just like Messi, right? Manages to still dribble... Cuts inside, goes past another player, and then outside of the right foot, it straight into the top corner. So, what am I seeing here that is not like Messi? What I was trying to say was, if you watch him, and do you know what made me laugh? The amount of people that laughed at me when I put that up like, like yesterday. Then when I actually said to him, have you actually even seen him play? They went, no. So then what are you basing your opinion on? I've watched the kid play for the Scotland under-18s, Scotland under-19s, the Scotland under-21s. And he is ripping people to pieces. Klopp has even said, just go out and be yourself. Liverpool have now put him in the last fr two, fr three, three first team squads. Derby County, uh, he made his debut. He was then on the bench with Southampton and he was on the bench against Leon, and he came on. Right? So what do you think Klopp sees? It's not, I'm not saying he's the next mess. But I'm saying, have you seen anything close to him? I, I, I never seen Neil Mellor doing shit like that i never seen Danny Pacheco doing shit like that. i never seen Adam Morgan doing shit like that. i never seen Steven Gerrard doing shit like that. Well, when did you ever see Gerrard dipping in and out of people and fucking running past people and turning his back and beating them? And then, that wasn't Gerrard either. So when I'm saying to you, I have never seen a player like him, it has to go on what I'm watching at the time. So what happens is, when you watch a player, you actually sort of... Uh, you actually just look, you get a reminder. Now, when I showed my uncle, who's a Scotland fanatic, my uncle Graham, right? He's, he's been watching Scotland since the 60s, right? He said that he reminds him of George Best, right? So that was his view. He looked at him and he went, what was George Best like? He could beat people. Didn't even need to look at the ball. He could beat people. Same as Lionel Messi. Look at the balance the kid has, right? Look at the pace the kid has. Look at the fact that he can beat people. When he's not facing them, he can roll them, just like Lionel Messi. So all I'm saying to you is, is yeah, I do get people's points when they say, oh, well, how many kids have come through? They're going to be this, they're going to be that. How many kids have uh, made their debut for Liverpool at the age of 16? I'd love to know the list of that. Because Gerard didn't even make his debut at Liverpool at the age of 16. I know Jordan Rossiter did. But another one, he was supposed to be the next Steven Gerrard. But again... 
it's, it's, there's a lot of centre midfielders that can pass a ball and there's a lot of centre midfielders that can tackle. But there's not a lot of players like Messi. There's not a lot of players like George Best. They're unique. They're a dying breed. These players that can skin, not just one player, but one, two, three and four in one phase of play is unreal. And all I'm going to say to you is, if you haven't seen this kid, watch the videos. Of, it's not just him doing it now, you know, in the under 18s, under 19s. He's now starting to, to you know, to do it. In the, they didn't have this when Gerard and all that was coming through. They didn't have the way for Champions League. Uh, I mean, he absolutely rips Napoli to shreds as well. I mean, it, honestly, I have never in my life seen a player like this. And why I put it up last night, my post, was based on the fact that I just watched Messi and went, and I said to my uncle, I said, Ben Doak can do all them things. All them things you've just seen that Messi do on that pitch, bar free kicks, say, Ben Doak can do. At this moment in time, can he skin two or three or four people in one phase of movement? Yes. Can he skin people with his back to them? Yes. Can he roll them? Can he turn them? Does he have lightning pace? Is he unbelievable at, at doing that? Yes. Was Messi just like Ben Doak at 17? I just had a look. I watched on YouTube. There's no difference between a 17-year-old, but bear in mind Ben Doak only turned 17 two weeks ago, a 16, 17-year-old Messi is, from what I've watched, the both of them comparing them, there is no difference in the way they attack. There's no fear, there's, spe there's speed, there's dynamism, there's everything. So, I have never done this in the 38 years I've supported Liverpool. I've never actually had this, this sort of feeling about a young player coming through as exciting as this kid. Because I'm telling you now, I think that with the news about Luis Diaz being injured for the next three months, I think that's just. I don't think that's just forced him into the t first team for the next. I'm not saying starting, but that's just. And I know Jota's apparently going to be out for another two, three months as well. So this could be fate. This could be the making. I mean, I'm not being funny. Michael Owen. Let's say Michael Owen when he came through. The difference between Michael Owen is Michael Owen was just really, really fast, but a lethal, lethal finisher, right? Ben Doak. It's got the dribbling skills of McManaman, but the speed of Michael Owen. That's the best comparison I can ever give you of him that you will know. Forget Messi and the foreign players, George Best and all that. He has the, the, the dribbling skills of McManaman, but the pace of Michael Owen, right? And he can finish. He can finish as well. So you've got them sort of characteristics. That's what Messi's got. Messi can... I mean, look at the goals he scored in his career. I mean, he makes Michael Owen look like a Sunday League player. What I mean is, I'm only looking at it from potential, right? He has the potential, in my opinion, to go on to be a world beater player, just like Messi has. I'm not saying he will accomplish anything near what Messi has done, but what I mean is he could have an impact on a football match in exact same way that Messi does, because he is the go-to player. I mean, once you give him the ball, he's he's off. He doesn't. I, I've never seen. I've been watching him now since he's. Since he signed for Liverpool from Celtic for 600 grand in pre season, just kept an eye on him because he's Scottish, because I come from a Scottish family. So that was what started the I want to keep an eye on this kid, right? So when I started watching him, I can categorically tell you now that I have never ever seen him pass the ball backwards. I have never seen him, if he can't, the first thing he thinks about is it's like a how can I describe it? It's like when you put a foot. A, a lighter to the, the end of a rocket, right? It's going to go off, right? Ben Doak, the minute he gets the ball, it's like he's been lit and he's off. He's off straight away and he's gone and he's direct. And I'm telling you now, this kid is, to me, going to be a world beater. Now, I put a status up a few weeks back that it'll be worth 100 million by the age of 20. I stand by that. I stand by it. It'll be worth 100 million by the age of 20. That gives him four straight years now of football because he's only just turned 17. So three for another, another well, set whole 17 the old 18th year, 19th year, he'll have 20. So when, by, the age, by, the, by the end of his 20th year, it'll be worth 100 million. And then he'll just go on to be get better and better. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why, because he's got a bit about him as well. <clears throat> he reminded me a little bit of so Suarez with his nastiness. He, got, he, he doesn't like getting tackled late. He get, gets back up when he's straight in people's faces. So he's got skill, pace, dribbling ability, finishing, temperament, which means he's not going to... Messi's had that his whole life. He always gets kicked, but he gets back up. Suarez, kicked back up. So he has 
the ability. How many players have we seen that's got a technical ability on the ball, but as soon as they get kicked, they're missing out of the game. That's when they're done. They're, they're scared. They don't want to touch the ball again. He's not one of them. So what I'm saying to you is the reason why I said, <clears throat> I did say Liverpool have got met, uh, their own Messi. I said Liverpool have a young kid that reminds me of Lionel Messi. And if you watch, I keep saying it, go onto the YouTube and watch his highlights and all the reels of his, his, his minutes on the pitch for Liverpool and for Scotland and for Celtic and, for, uh, you know, for all the youth teams in the Champions League and that is played in the Youth Champions League, you will see a kid that is able to beat one, two, three, four players in one single fucking phase of play and has the technical ability to cut in his left foot, right foot and score goals. And that's as simple as that. So if that isn't anything like Lionel Messi, <clears throat> then I don't know what kind of footballer I can compare him to from what I know and what I've seen in my life. So for those of you who don't know much about Ben Doak, here's his Wikipedia. So Ben Gallon Doak, born the 11th of November 2005. Shit, that makes me feel old is a Scottish professional footballer who plays at full-back and a, wing, a winger for Liverpool. He's not a full-back and he's never been a full-back, so ben, for the Wikipedia needs to sort that out. He's a winger, like a tackling midfielder winger. Club career. Don't began his career at hometown club Darley Rovers before moving to Air United and then on to Celtic on the 26th of December 2021. Doak, having turned 16 the previous month, was named on the bench for Celtic's 3-1 away win to St Johnston. So he'd only just turned 16. He was a 15-year-old boy only a couple of days ago and he was on Celtic's bench against St Johnston. On the 29th of January, Doak made his Celtic debut coming on as a 68th minute substitute in the 1-0 Scottish Premiership win against Dundee. So at 16, he makes his SPL debut. How many players have done that? 16-year-olds, not many. Doak signed with a pull in... Uh, hang on, he actually came on against Rangers. I don't know why it's not said that. Uh, Doak signed for Liverpool in March 2022 with Celtic due to receive a training compensation fee of around 600 grand. On the 9th of November 22, Doak made his debut for Liverpool when he came on as a 74th minute sub in the 3-2 penalty shootout win over Derby County in the third round of the League Cup. Five days later, Doak signed his first professional contract with Liverpool having reached the age of 17. He was also on the bench against uh, Southampton and he's gone over to, uh, to Dubai now and he's been on the bench with uh, uh for the leon came on against leon so he's played two first team games for celtic and none for liverpool at the moment because that's only league it says on here but all i'm saying to you is this kid is going to be special and all i said was as any football man that watches football you can see a resemblance of some players sometimes it might be you know andy carroll might have reminded the older age generation of uh, john toshak you know you always make your own opinions and what the player reminds you of and i'm telling you now if this kid can transform what he does on a youth pitch and, and, and now he's playing under 21s and since under 21 some of these are fully grown men a couple of them are allowed to be over 21 as well so he's playing against men as well and he's played in the league cup against derby and he ripped them to bits when he came on as well and that was the fully strength senior derby side all i'm saying is if he can transfer this on a weekly basis into liverpool we have got one hell of a gem on our on our, on our on our books here without a shadow of a doubt and i think this is the best project to come out of scotland since kenny dog leash and that's how big it, and i think liverpool agree with me it's the reason why they give him number seven as soon as he signed for the club he's number seven for the academy any number he could have had now nah, we'll give him seven they know they call him the wee rocket he's going to be he's going to have an impact on liverpool just as kenny did in my opinion i cannot wait and do you know what if you don't want me to be right then you don't want liverpool to be successful because we want all of our kids coming through to make an immediate impact and to, to, to hit the first team, to save his money in the transfer market. I mean, like I say, with now Diego Jota sidelined for a further two months, which is a bloody bit of bad news, they're coming through. And now the fact that Luis Diaz has had to now go for uh, surgery and he's out for another three months till March, get the kid in, play in. We've got Bobby Firmino, we've got uh, Nunes, we can have Doak and we can have... Uh, who else plays up front? We've got Cavallio and, you know, certain players like that. I'll probably miss one, but that happens when your mind is blank. Uh, Salah. <laughs> I'm going to forget Salah. So we've got, we could have Salah, you know, Firmino and Doak, or, you know, and just, you know, rotate him either way. Get, get, I, don't, I don't mean starting, but to bring him on. Let's see what he's got. In my opinion, if he wasn't going to be on the peripheral of the first team immediately, one, he wouldn't have been on the bench against Southampton, because obviously that's saying, this kid's got it. Because he would have never been on the bench against Southampton. 
And two, he wouldn't have been taken to Dubai and he wouldn't have came on again. Klopp is really looking at this kid. And as you know, with Harvey Elliott and Trent Anzaler-Arnold, Klopp doesn't care. If you're good enough, you're old enough. You'll never walk alone.